In this video, we will discuss three supraventricular rhythms originating from the atrial or nodal tissue, but not from the sinus node. They are SVT, or supraventricular tachycardia, atrial fibrillation, and atrial flutter. The full rhythm tutorial can be found at richacls.com. In this first rhythm, supraventricular tachycardia, we have a fast, regular rhythm with a P wave in front of every QRS. The PR interval is constant with the normal width, although hard to see with the fast rate. The QRS is narrow, and the rate is about 180. When we look at the animation, we see the SA node is not acting as a primary pacemaker. There is a small accessory pathway, which has an impulse rapidly traveling around and around. Every time the impulse travels through the AV node, it's transmitted down through the Purkinje fibers into the ventricles. Although this rhythm can look like sinus tachycardia, it is quite different. Sinus tachycardia is a response to the body's request for more cardiac output, maybe from exercise or fever, and the fast rate is developed relatively slow. SVT, because of its origin, has a very fast onset. Please note that the atriums aren't shown depolarizing or contracting in this video, but they do. Every time the ventricle depolarizes, the atriums will depolarize and contract also. In this rhythm, atrial fibrillation, we don't see P waves. The QRS is narrow and the rhythm is irregular. Actually, the most irregular rhythm there is. The rate is about 80. When we look at the animation, we see the atriums quivering rather than contracting in a coordinated manner. This is because the atrial tissue has fibrillatory waves running in all directions. The AV node is bombarded with up to 300 impulses a minute, but acts as a stoplight, only allowing a small portion of the impulses through. Two unique characteristics of this rhythm are irregular R to R intervals and a wavy baseline from fibrillatory waves. This rhythm, atrial flutter, also has a unique waveform. We see what looks like many P waves, but they are actually F or flutter waves. The QRS is narrow, the R to R intervals are fairly regular, but will vary. In the animation, you see what looks like the accessory pathway we saw in supraventricular tachycardia, but larger. This is called a re-entrant pathway, which involves a large part of the atrial muscle and does not directly communicate with the AV node as in SVT. The ventricular rate will depend on the regulatory properties of the AV node. The AV node protects the ventricles from fast rates by allowing only a portion of the incoming impulses to pass through. For more rhythm videos, type in Rich ACLS on the search bar.